Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Why narcissists burn their bridges. Narcissists burn bridges. They do things that force them to continue with a particular course of action. And it makes it impossible for them to return to an earlier situation or relationship. Because they've burnt the bridge, they've destroyed any way of going back. Because of the way that they chose to end the relationship, which means that they have committed themselves to an irreversible course. They have burned long-term bridges for short-term hunger. The problem is the crumbs never taste as good as the loaf. Narcissists are full of hatred, envy and jealousy, but they disguise it as something else. They act indifferent, they pretend like they don't care, or they act as though they're trying to help you. But the reality is that they can't stand you. They're experiencing resentment and discontentment because they desire to have the qualities, possessions and other desirable attributes that belong to you. So now they're unhappy and angry because you have something that they want, which is why when you're dealing with them, they will always seek to damage your reputation. They will make false and damaging statements about you they will assassinate your character, they will devalue you, they will lie and deceive you, because they're trying to be you, and you can't both be you, because otherwise you would shine the light on them, you would expose their corrupt nature, so they have to destroy you, and they have to change you into something else, so that there's nothing standing in their way of becoming you, because they can't be you if you're still you. If you're still everything that makes you who you are, which is why they feel this impulsive desire to destroy you, because otherwise you act as a mirror that is reflecting back to them who they actually are and how they don't want to be seen. Because they don't want to be seen as the immoral and corrupt person that they actually are, which is why they want to take on your identity. Because they want to be seen as something pleasant, good natured and pure. Which is why when you set forth and go purpose to build yourself, instead of letting that situation define you and destroy you, it begins to unravel their nature and who they actually are. Because time reveals all. Sooner or later, things will be known and revealed. But many of you are still comparing your situation with what you can't see from the narcissist. Well, that's never going to validate what you went through because all they're ever going to do is make it seem like you were the problem, as though you were the one who didn't care enough or love them enough, but you know the work that you put in. You know that you did everything you possibly could to make things right. And yet when you separated, they pointed the finger at you. They openly accused you and blamed you for everything. But then following the separation, you end up doing better. You end up succeeding without them. While the person who is blaming you for their shortcomings is the one who ends up being stuck in a rut. They end up doing the same thing and they end up becoming even worse. Which is why at some point you have to come to a conclusion of who was the problem in that situation. Because otherwise, how could you do better without them? And how could they end up going down? which is how you should know that they were the problem, even while they were blaming and accusing you. Because as soon as you got away from them, you began to experience the positive outcome and the rewards of your hard work and efforts. And they were forced to witness that, which means that the crumbs never taste as good as the loaf. Because now they're in this new situation and they're looking at you and wishing that they had what you have 
after they devalued you and smeared your name. And they made all of these false and damaging statements about you, which is how you should know that they're already aware that what they said about you wasn't true. Because otherwise, why would they want anything from you? Why would they want anything to do with something that you have created? If you're really as bad as they said you were. And now they see the fruits of your labor. And it's something they can't challenge or dispute. Because it's inventive, productive and creative. It's plentiful and abundant. And it's res the, re the result of your hard work. So they can't even defend themselves. They can't even mention anything about it. But they will return to the scene of the crime and they will be forced to witness that what they thought they had destroyed is now even better. It's even stronger. It's even more effective. Because that's all that it does. And that is why the crumbs never taste as good as the loaf. But they will act like they're moving on and they will go off into another situation as though they're actually doing good. But then they will keep coming back to you. Because unlike them, they know that you're actually progressing for real. They know that you're building and creating. And once it's built, then it's time to take a part in it and share it and consume it. But because they've burnt the bridge, they know they're no longer regarded with favour by you. So they know they don't belong there. In this place and condition of great happiness, where everything is exactly how you would like it to be, and it's ideal and free from worry. After you've separated from them and you've worked hard to build the life that you wanted, they know they don't deserve any involvement in that. They know they don't deserve your love or affection. So all they can do is recognize the importance and quality of it, because other than that, it's too late. You've already had it and enjoyed it, and now there's nothing but crumbs left. They don't get the whole loaf. They don't get the best parts of you. And instead, all they get is the leftovers, what is remaining after the rest has been consumed. The narcissist burned the bridge with you because they weren't thinking about all the things they did to you. In their minds, they're the best thing since sliced bread, so they expect you to see it as a privilege just to be around them. And when they burn the bridge, they're expected to harm you and cause problems for you. They're not thinking that you're going to go off and do better without them. But that's often what happens when they do burn the bridge. The victim ends up doing better because the narcissist was holding them back and preventing them from being who they are meant to be. Which is why if you look back at how your life was when you were with them, you will see that things have gotten a lot better for you while their life has entered a downward spiral. So while they once looked down on you as though they were greater than you, they now see that your life is comfortable and pleasant without them. So now they want to come back because they see that you put yourself in a better position. They see that you've improved yourself after all of the damage they caused to you. So now they want a slice of the pie. They want to benefit from it. They want a piece of the action. But that doesn't mean they're desiring to work with you on a joint venture for mutual benefits. The foundational basis of narcissism is envy, which is why they're typically drawn to confident, hardworking and successful people. They're desiring to have your qualities and possessions. They lust after what you have. They want to be you, which is why they always want to get your attention because it provides them with a sense of being on your level. And it's why you will typically see them mimicking your qualities and characteristics and liking what you like. They might start buying clothes at the same store as you. They might mimic your quirks and mannerisms. And they might even steal your money or possessions because they quite literally just want a piece of you. They desire to possess you completely, mentally, emotionally and physically, especially when they see that you have managed to overcome everything they did to you. 
and you have succeeded in developing yourself, they're going to want to partake in that. But that means that you have defeated them. It means that you have gained a victory and control over them. Because now they have to come over to your side. They're on your territory now. Because they recognize that they're not a strong enough opposition to you on their own. So now they're acquiring your assets and resources because they understand that they're insufficient. They're not up to the task. They're unable to compete. So they forfeit the competition. They surrender. But even when they do that, it will still be followed by forceful protests and demands where they express disapproval and objection and they're acting in a dishonest way and achieving their results by deceit and evasion because they're so full of envy, jealousy and resentment for them to ever behave normally or fairly. And they may have tried to replace you, but they got bored of them because the replacement isn't performing up to their expectations. It doesn't excite them. So now they want to come back and give you recognition while they're still accusing and blaming you when you just need to stay on your purpose. Because the entire time that you were building and developing yourself, they were acting a fool. They were behaving in a silly and foolish way while you were putting yourself in a position to be better and stronger. And they thought their way was better while you thought yours was. But time reveals all. Time is a great teacher. And events will unfold to reveal who was right all along. Because they made so many mistakes. And they put themselves in so many bad situations. While your only mistake was being around them. You were just around the wrong people. People who were going in the wrong direction. And they were trying to bring you down with them. But what they were doing is pathetic. And all you could really do is feel sorry for them. Which is why now they want to come over to your side. They want to partake in the pleasant and successful result of your actions and hard work. When you're completely out of their league. You're on another level. Because you're more attractive, successful and desirable. While they haven't even achieved anything substantial. It's just that you were tricked into thinking that you were the same as them. Because all they ever did was hate and put you down and erode your abilities and effectiveness. But now that you're no longer in danger. And you've built yourself up. And you look back at where they are. To where you are now. What you have now is much greater than what you had with them. You've achieved the things that you desired and wanted. You're happy and contented again. And they can't compete with that. Because at that point, it's not even a competition. You're out of their league altogether. And they secretly recognize your worth as they observe your talents and skills. They hate it at the same time because they wish that was them. But they also regard it with wonder and surprise because they recognize that it's something beautiful and expected and familiar and inexplicable. It aroused their desire and curiosity, which is why they targeted you in the first place. Because they could see that you were progressing. They could see that you had a lot of potential. And yet they went off somewhere else until they got bored of what they tried to replace you with. And now they want to come back into your life. When the entire time they took you for granted, they failed to properly appreciate you because you were always there for them whenever they needed you. While they treated you badly, cruelly and unfairly, they belittled, ignored and mocked you and they abused you all of that time. Which is why the best revenge is your own success and personal development, especially your own happiness. Because while they can burn bridges, take credit for your success and even steal your money and possessions. Once you're able to generate your own happiness from within. That's one thing they can't take from you. 
and they will see you shining. They will see you healing and developing and having good positive energy and making people feel good. They're going to bear witness to all of that and they're not going to like it because the crumbs don't taste as good as the loaf and the person they replace you with ends up being the crumbs. So of course things are going to be looking a lot better with you and they're going to want to come back to get a piece of the action. But we do not mix with narcissists. We're not able to be combined or put together with them in a way that has good results. So instead, we just leave them with the crumbs that they wanted, that they played you for. Just leave them with that. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.